Some people have questions about existing roof systems in Roof Logic and, and the design behind it and how it works. And I have a roof here, open roof A. So let's just go through a few things. So if I want to apply a roof system, I can just hit this button here. Uh, we used to have it, our, uh, our uh, more veteran users have had RoofLogic for a while. Remember, you used to have to come to here and apply a roof system. Uh, either way, it's the same thing. Uh, so I'm going to go here. And when you apply a roof system, the name there is for a more expressive name than just BUR, EPDM, or one of the base types. So I'm going to put in there, and I might want to put the insulation thickness in there. It's made to be a more expressive name. Uh, now, the base types were often asked, can you change the base types? No, you can't. Uh, if you have a base type you've run into, that you think should be in the system. Uh, at this point, we really shouldn't have any that are not already in the system, but if you do, talk to us. Um, the base types have a very specific programmatic um, uh, chore in the system. For example, when you're choosing conditions, we use the base type to decide which conditions to display. Uh, once we've added repair uh, features to RoofLogic, it's going to be the same thing. You're going to choose BUR repairs or the ones that will be suggested to you rather than EPDM repairs. We can't go on just what you typed in here. We have to have something that's set in stone, and that's why you can't change these. Now, of course, we have manufacturer, if you know the manufacturer, and the asset value. Uh, if you're doing a due diligence report, and um, you've been asked to tally up the current value of this asset. We don't do calculate it, you just type it in there. Uh, the installation date, either estimated, unknown, or actual. So if it's estimated, an easy way to set it is if I think it's a five-year-old roof, I highlight the year, and on my keyboard, tap down on the down arrow five times. One, two, three, four, five. That's a five-year-old roof. And then projected design life is the manufacturer's suggested Design life, in other words, it matches the warranty. Is it a 20-year, a 20, a 15-year system, a 25-year system? And then below is the estimated service life, and that is uh, how long you think this roof is going to last. And the principle is the same. If you think it's got three to five years left, you highlight the year, and on your keyboard, tap the up arrow, one, two, three. And you'll see down here it will have calculated three to five years. It's three plus the two-year offset to give you the five, so three to five. You can set that offset to zero if you really want to say, okay, it's got three years exactly left, but most people don't want to do that. They want to say, have a two-year offset or a three-year offset, and you can just adjust that. Now, once I save, uh, a question that we're often asked is people say, well, I made a mistake. I go back into the roof system. Why can't I change the type? Uh, my programmers could answer that better for you, but it's likely that you won't understand the answer, but there is a very... There's a, a technical reason, a hurdle, why you can't change that. So what you have to do is remove the roof system and replace it. Um, and we may overcome that one, one day, but right now we haven't. So let's talk about removing the roof system. So if I go to the roof system here, this is the only place I can remove it. Now, if I've made a mistake and I want to change the type, that's one reason I would remove it. In this case, my example, uh, the roof actually did change. We changed it from... Uh, uh, BUR, it's, it's now a, a mechanically attached EPDM. So you don't just change uh, the roof. So if I go to edit, you don't just change it here because you can't change the type. I could put an EPDM up here, but that doesn't change the type. So there's a very specific process in RoofLogic where you have to right click, remove the roof system. And now you've got uh, back to where we started. And I can, from here, I can apply, or like I said, you can hit the button over here. But I'm going to go ahead and apply. And now I'm going to change it to my mechanically attached Of course, I have to get my type right. Then I fill out the other fields, and in the end, I'm going to have my new roof system. Now, if I want to edit that, you see I can edit everything in here but the type. So that's a little primer on roof systems and how they work in RoofLogic.